Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Guy Kelly schooling the top 20 list and getting that number one spot. Now, please subscribe and comment. Stay tuned for a lot more videos coming all about the Street Outlaw shows. And of course, the photo credit goes directly to the respective photo owners. So, Monday's episode, the list shakeup was finished and Kai Kelly got the number one spot. He raced a couple of times. He raced very fast cars such as Scott Taylor and Axeman and he got the win. Now, I have seen a lot of debate online saying that Kai Kelly cheated, that he jumped a light, that he's not the fastest, etc. That he doesn't deserve to be number one. Well, the bottom line is, rules are rules. Even though I don't agree with some of the rules, the rules were in place at the beginning of that list. So, he is able to jump the light. If the other car sits, he loses. And that's a risk that he is taking. And he still made very, very fast passes. He got it figured out. And the old Shocker Camaro has always been one of the top five street race cars, in my opinion. It's beat a lot of big names, especially in its time on Street Outlaws. So it's a bad car. And Bakai Kelly is a bad dude. He definitely knows how to street race, track race, everything. Now, if you ask me, was Kai Kelly the fastest car there? No. The fastest car there is Axeman. And I believe everybody can see it. That car is hauling ass down that road and the left lane and the right lane. It's retarded fast. It never smokes like a tires. It always makes it down. And if you watch the video that Kai Kelly jumps, Axeman was running him down so freaking fast. That's the fastest car there. I mean, I don't think nobody has made as fast of a pass as Larry Rocha, Axeman. But he still lost to Kai Kelly. The bottom line is, if you got to run to the rules that were put on before that list, you can take advantage of those rules. And Kai Kelly ran it. So don't hate the player, hate the game. I do believe he's going to do really good. I don't see him dropping possibly even from the top three out of the 20 cars because he knows how to race, he knows how to tune, and he knows how to play by the rules. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what do you think about Kai Kelly being in the number one spot.